Jesus Christ our Lord, do we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Highly esteemed listeners, means that God has been so gracious unto us for adding us into this brand new year in this that we're going to have a series of lessons of, for this new year beginning regarding what we have understood to be our predicament all these years. And uh, you realize that at close of the year of last year and at the beginning of this year, 2016, Almost all of us have made new resolutions. Resolutions that we want to have goals or special aims regarding what we want to achieve in this year. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've been doing this. Year after year, we've been doing this. But barely the first quarter of the year, we may be finding ourselves reverting to our old ways of the things we do not want to do. So that at the end of every year, we all come again and we regret for the things that we've done, promising to be new leaf in the following year. Year by year, this has been a predicament. And so when the time, time comes to the evening, the end of the year and the new year again, we wonder if there's the need for any new resolutions to make. Brethren, you are not alone, but I want to tell you that the whole world, that the predicament of the whole world, without Christ. That is why this morning and at the beginning of this year, we want to look at something very important regarding building character. Just because we've not made and developed Christianity character as a way of life, we continue to revert to our former ways year by year. And so from this time on, at this beginning of this new year, we want to have a series of lessons regarding developing character. Developing character. The serious listeners. It's important for us to understand that at any point in life, what we think about daily, continue to become our habit. Prior to our habits, what we think about becomes our actions, and our actions repetitively turn out to be our habits. Our habits repetitively also develop into a character. The same as listeners. And that is where we need to be watchful and find out whether what we think about our actions, our habits, that develop into character is Christ-like. Other than by the time we are aware we've developed a character that is not godly. And when we have those ungodly character, it's very difficult to even move on in the first quarter of our resolutions with Christ. We'll be reverting forward and back always. Why? Because we've not developed the Christ-like character. We want to look at developing character as God will have it. And that the series of lessons I'm inviting you to continue to study with us until we come to an end with the help of the Almighty God. Developing character. Distinguished listeners, Christianity is more than a set of doctrine rules by which we guide ourselves from following after the imaginations of men. It is a lifestyle. Jesus wanted us to have an abundant living in this world. 
In order to have this, we must incorporate into our behavior his principles of living. When we live as Jesus would have us live, then we will understand the life is not as bad as we have made it out to be. We will understand that there is a fullness of life that God intended we have while even on this earth before heaven's time. It is for this reason that we must view the Bible as a textbook on life. It is a guide for the development of our character in order that we have the abundant life about which Jesus spoke and promised the disciples. If we are able to be guided for the development of our character by the only holy book of the Word of God, the Bible, then God willing, this 2016 is going to be a wonderful year for us indeed. A year full of fulfillment. A year that if we leave us, we will have it. We will have and understand the fullness of life that God intended we have in 2016. Highly esteemed listeners, it is important for us to understand this. That God, even though created us as individually, created us in a community, created us to have one another strength. And that is the beginning of building a character. Any kind of character building that will not concentrate on the other person apart from ourselves is not a good character we cannot develop. We want the Bible God to advise us that enough is enough. 2016 should be a real turning point for our lives. Building a character of Christ. Building a godly character is the solution of all our hopes. And we wonder whether even in this world we are in paradise or not. Let us try and see. The service listeners. Every person must deal, therefore, with helping others. In the world of God, character of God, and that start in helping the communities in which he or she lives. One is a good community person only when he or she has a good reputation of helping others to lead a better life. As a nation, Ghana, we must seek leaders who are focused on good moral and ethical conduct. Turn God this is an election year. We should continue to be looking for leaders who are characters of good moral and ethical conduct. The state businesses that will be the solution for Ghana's problem. Looking for leaders who are good moral and ethical conduct. It doesn't matter that wisdom will sing the leaders my heart. If we don't have good morals and ethical conduct, then our woes cannot be solved. This is the secret of success to great nations. We look for people who have developed characters of godly nature themselves. The civil systems. All this while, some have claimed to be leaders of the nation. But have manifested wrong behavior in their business dealings and the affairs of their communities. It is for this reason that we, as citizens of our dear nation, Ghana, must focus on how we can influence for the good those people around whom we live. A happy community exists when individuals living together with one another in a peaceful relationship of neighborly interaction. Those who believe in those who live in being the best citizens in any community because of their skill to live in harmony with others. Oh, how beautiful it will be if our leaders have great characters of good morals according to godly nature and the people, the citizens, also understand this, that it's important to build character in growing nature 
Problem has to be problem the service listeners. Problem that will be struggling there in a day out of storm. But God has a solution. No economist, no economist, no good will be able to solve the issue if we, together with our leaders, have not developed godly characters. The service listeners learning personal skills in order to live in harmony with others, to improve great communities and nations. Developing our character has to make it possible for us to grow peacefully with others. To develop peace and personal power in order to be a productive individual in this community and a nation now. The service system, the devastating impact of HIV AIDS on our communities is only a function of our children to develop tolerance in our citizens. HIV AIDS manifests that are deteriorated into social chaos in many societies. The seriousness. It is necessary, therefore, that we medically deal with the devastating effects of social diseases as HIV is. However, in order to be effective and successful with such social cancers, the battle to save our communities from social diseases must go beyond condoms and stasis. The only true and abiding answer to social diseases are morals that are greater than men themselves. These morals must be taught to and practiced by everyone in our community, in our nation, starting with our families and our leaders. The stainless system. In reference to sexual relations, for instance, God's moral means abstinence from sexual activity outside the bond of marriage. As a young person, for instance, you must understand that if you violate the moral law of abstinence outside marriage, you will reap the consequences of your action. We can save our communities and our nations from the bad consequences of immorality that is tightening up in the whole world, in our schools, in our universities, in our communities, and in so many areas to be a thing of the past. If we want to develop godly character as a nation, only by practicing moral principles in our lives. This terrorist the only true deliverance from the test of social disease pandemics, such as HIV AIDS, is abstinence from sexual immorality outside the bond of marriage. Those who refuse to learn from the mistakes of vanished nations in the past are doomed to repeat and relive that which destroys nations. But we must commit ourselves not to repeat past failures. It is the duty of every citizen to recognize and implement in his or her life those character principles that lead to a better life. It is the responsibility of religious institutions and schools of every nation, especially Ghana, throughout the world, to train the minds of these citizens. Because the principles of God never change. People must be trained to conduct themselves with good moral and ethical behavior in their relationships. It is the responsibility of every society to put up the minds of every generation on principles that both nations and a certain business. We have a lot of religious groups in this nation. But the question of why is it that we will be able to do this? It is important for us to understand that religious leaders must come, the religious institutions and schools and the nation, not 
to repair those things that lead to the destruction of our communities. Civic and religious leaders must be protected. The citizenship of a nation and unchanging principles of God that have always built better nations. In doing this, communities within nations can build dynamic environments in which citizens can live in peace and thus become productive participants in a democratic society such as ours. The same listeners, if we seek to develop a nation that is united and that believes in God, to whom we will all give accounts, then we will be motivated. We will be motivated to do what is right, to establish within our society's principles that will produce the kind of citizenship that builds nations. Therefore, as we study through moral and ethical principles that lead to the development of a great person, which we want to be in this 2016 and beyond, you must realize that you have a great responsibility as a citizen of the nation Ghana to build your nation on morals and ethics that will lead everyone to a better life. It is not building on sound economic policies. It will work. It is only by building our nation on morals and ethics that will lead everyone to a better life. Distinguished listeners, building a character, therefore, begins from the individual and ends with the nation. As we want to look at the nation, we can say that great nations are the result of dignified individuals who seek to dwell together in a peaceful unity that is based on the moral integrity of all its citizens. Great nations are the result of dignified individuals who seek to draw together in peaceful unity that is based on the moral integrity of all its citizens. And that is the truth for both the individual and the nation at large. Highly as seamlessness, it is the responsibility of every citizen of this great nation of ours Ghana and even of all nations in the world, to strive to build a unified nation of peace. Nations are built on the good characters of individual citizens. Therefore, it is the responsibility of every citizen to develop his or her character, in order to develop a great nation. It is that the task of religious and civic leaders to challenge people to develop good moral characters. Because we should remember that when we sow a thought, we will read an act. And when we sow an act, we will read a habit. And when we sow a habit, we will read a character. And when we sow a character, we shall read a destiny. That we cannot change. That because we don't sow the kind of that develops from the heart to a habit, to a character, before we read the destiny. It's important for us. It is only when we have done the right thing built on the moral principles of God that we will be able to have good resolutions and achieve them year by year, as individuals, as communities, and as a nation. This is this. Someone once asked, a good character is more valuable than you, and it is true. Our lives are built around our character. Good characters produce good lives, and healthy characters produce many unfortunate consequences that destroy lives, both in our homes, in our marriages, at the workplace, in our ministry, in our nation, at the higher office of the presidency. In all areas of life, good character, building good character and good morals based on godly principles is the key. For unhealthy characters produce many unfortunate consequences 
that will spread our life, our families, and the ministry in Ghana as a whole. Therefore, we must be diligent to challenge one another to live the best lives we can that are based on good moral and ethical principles as people of this dear nation of ours. Ghana. We must be encouraged to be productive citizens in our community. If you follow good principles for character development, you can have a happy family and a peaceful community life and a wonderful nation that is based on moral and ethical principles that surpasses all, influencing others to do good. And by having a positive influence on others, you will be an encouraging leader in your community. It is important for us to understand that our success in life will depend on how we relate to one another and to other people. The better we relate with others, the better we will succeed in life. Ask ourselves the best question to us in the relation we are dealing with any other human being this year. Is it based on us demonstrating good character Built of God's principles or otherwise. If we want to have a solution to the achievement of our resolution, in every single activity we are dealing with one another this year in this nation, let us ponder over it, whether in the workplace, whether between the leaders of the nation and the citizens, whether among the citizens, whether among my companies. Whether our more families, parents and children, in our dealing, let us ask this simple question. Whether the act, whether whatever we are saying, it is built on good moral principles that build good character on value principles. This is response. Good character development makes it possible for us to live in harmony with our neighbors. When we learn and practice skills, how to relate with others, we will succeed in life as a productive citizen of the community. Highly esteemed listeners, we must be encouraged, therefore, to be productive citizens in our nation. Our character is not our religion. Most of us are members of different religions and different churches and different kinds of worship. But we need to understand that our character is not our religion. Though our religious beliefs will affect our character. Our beliefs affect our character development. If we understand that, we will give account to God for our beliefs. Every person has a character regardless of his or religious beliefs. It is for this reason that every person must speak to develop a good character. A character that in order to be a good citizen of this nation, we must focus on being a person of integrity in order to be honorable citizens in this nation of ours. Character development is absolutely necessary for developing a life that is rich with success and good relationships. The civil system. And in trying to look at character religion, we don't understand that it's not just enough to go and fill the pews in the church meetings. It's not just good enough to say that by attending a church, it's only for have a pastor. Why we will not inculcate the spirit of Christ in our daily dealings in building godly character? The time has come that we all come to a realization that all this pride that we struggle to solve two issues of problems we can't even perform. How those problems came about and how we are finding solutions to it. The, the issue is that we have failed as individuals as a common participation to develop godly time for all the citizens, including the leaders. Highly estimated. One key thing that we need to watch as a part of religion in building character 
is conscious. Conscious. Everyone has a conscience. If you do not do that which we think is right, we or violate our conscience. It's a lot of fully conscious to work. A good character that originates from a God trained conscience moves us to do right. In order that we not violate our conscience. In order to define and develop a good conscience that is based on eternal moral and ethical principles, we must look for moral and ethical principles that originate from God. Because men and women with good characters know and practice that which is wrong. The same as this. Everyone has developed in his or her life that which he or she considers to be right. We seek to do good according to what we believe is right. Character development is knowing and practicing correct principles by which we can determine what is good or bad. We develop our conscience with good moral and ethical principles in order to guide ourselves to do that which is right. For our character determines how we will respond to every situation in life. How we will respond to difficulties, challenges, such as financial difficulties, health difficulties, relationship difficulties. How we will respond to each of these issues depend on our character. If our character is not built on good moral principles, we will seem to be corrupt. We will seem to amass wealth that belongs to the nation and our community. Because our character is not developed on good godly principles. If our characters are not developed on good godly principles, we will respond to situations of provocation in insult, abuse, and fight, in the drawing guns, killing and murder. If we, our character is not good, on good godly principles, we will respond to poverty or lack of funds instead of going by the godly way to get this thing, we will resort to occultism, we will resort to murder our families for money, we will resort to all sorts of lies, we will resort to a very dangerous character or work life in order to be rich. That is the problem. Our character, therefore, is manifested by our encounters with people and situations and how we respond to them. The same says, let us remember that good characters will make the best of bad situations. Good characters will make the best of even bad situations. On the other hand, bad characters will often make the worst of even good situations. Bad characters will often make the worst of even good situations. It is necessary to develop bad characters from the middle of the terrain, from all situations of life, whether good or bad. I am not extremely sorry. God willing for next week, as we will begin, we will continue to look at character building rules. Character building rules as individuals, as family people, as a nation. But let me just introduce that aspect by letting you understand that in building character, in finding rules to build character, God's standards is the rule. God's standards upon which good characters are built have been time tested and accepted as true and good by men of all ages. They have never been disappointed. People who are taking time to build godly characters based on God's standards have never been disappointed. They are time tested for all of us to see and they are accepted all over the world. Because we are the creation of God, God has placed within us a culture to do right and do good to our fellow human beings. This is very important to understand. Society throughout history 
has proved that it cannot develop moral and ethical standards by which people can conduct themselves with moral and ethical decency with one another. If you say we can find this in our constitution, then you'll be disappointed. The immorality and genocide that continue to occur throughout the world is evidence of this fact that society cannot in themselves provide the basis for good building of character based on moral and ethical principles. Again, AIDS is evidence of this fact. Again, crime, terrorism, and moral decay are all evidences of the fact that humans are not able through their own will and laws to determine what is correct moral and ethical behavior. If humans do establish good moral laws, they often cannot develop a, a conscience that motivates them to even keep those laws. So when they find wonderful laws, when they come up with wonderful ideas, good strategic moral principles, even in a conversation, a human being can never develop a good conscience on his or her own. Therefore, we must always use divine principles as the foundation on which to develop and change our consciousness. The civil system. God is the source from which good character principles can be discovered. Upon his principles, great characters are yours. We must assume that God knows best concerning the development of our characters for successful living because he is our creator. He created us and the fatal principles for our abundant living. The civil system. God willing us to we shall continue. But let me end with this. We need to understand that those great nations that we have are people who develop on godly character. It's important for us to understand this. And so as we have entered 2016, it's a brand new opportunity to make amends. It means life is beautiful indeed, because we take it one at a time. And an opportunity to reverse to the godly character is here with us. We are listening to our voice this morning. God loves us, and he wants us to make amends. He wants us to be successful in our resolutions this year. If we only resolve to build godly character as individuals, as people in our communities, People in our minds, as children, as parents, as workers of this nation, as leaders of this nation, for how wonderful 2016 and beyond will be. Let us take it one at a time. This year, let's focus on building Godly character. Now we shall continue to learn how this could be done. Make a time with us, take time down in next week, as we continue to unravel the priceless oracle that will give us success in this year 2016. May the good Lord continue to be with us as we continue to learn this piece of lesson. Once again, this has been the oracle of God Radio Broadcast, a biblical program that is run and sponsored by the Churches of Christ, which come your way every Wednesday, 5 a.m. Make a day with us, say, thank God, on the next week as we continue to unravel the priceless oracle. You are one invited to worship the churches of Christ all over the country, the pillar of truth, where honor and the word of God is shared, and God is worshipped in spirit and in truth. You may want to contact us on 0 445 or send us a message on coc.radio at yahoo.com. I am your brother, Eric Darko. Now may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify us through and through. May our whole body, spirit, and souls be kept blameless. And I pray that I have a summer of this man. So that we will meet again, stay with you blessed, and begin the miracle of the Lord of God. Let's learn it and happy moment.